Hey guys, this is your friend Manak from Civil Center, and I welcome all of you back to our channel and also another video tutorial on Tecla Structural Designer. So, friends, in today's video, we're going to see the effect of seismic load or earthquake load on your Tecla Structural Designer software. So, we're going to open a model, building model, in which the loading has been fully applied, and then we are going to study the action of seismic loads on that particular model. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So this is our building model. This you can see is the G plus two building model. And here we have already applied the loadings and done the design analysis. And now we want to check the effect or the action of the seismic forces. So for that below, we can go to our solver view. Currently we are at the structural view, which is the default view. And we'll go to the solver view. So after going to the solver view, you can see this, this is the solver view and along the solver view, or besides the solar view, we have the results view. This is where we intend to go. And here we can just select a particular load combination here. This is the load cases and this is the load combination. We just click on this load combination and select one load combination. And after that, we'll just do one thing. We'll just uh, turn on the results and we'll just turn on the seismic here. And after that, we can just check the, let's say we can check the deflections. As you can see, these are the deflections due to the seismic load. And uh, this is one order, first order linear analysis selected. You can uh, select various methods as well. Let's just uh, increase the magnitude of the deflections. You can just play with that. As you can see, and this is the deflections. You can just increase or decrease the magnitude to to have a clear look. So these are the deflections in our structural members due to your particular uh, seismic load. And if you want the values, you can go here and just uh, click on the deflection. You can also find the values here. And let's turn on the deflections here. Let's turn on the results. We have now the results of your particular member torsion. Now let's go for the axial force. So these are the results of the axial force, as you can see, for your seismic load. Now we can just, uh, in the text, we can turn on the forces here. Here we can find the values of your particular axial force. So all these axial forces are for your seismic loads. These values. You can also find the values of the forces and the supports. And if you want, you can also see the reaction also. So all this you can find out using this particular uh, option and here let's go for the moment measure so the bending moment as you can see here bending moment values in particular beam due to the seismic load have been mentioned along with its values so it's clear from here so it is the top and the bottom so bending this is the bending moment for your column along with the values 9.32 minus 9.9.93 so with the values as well as the here also you can just increase or uh, decrease the results and like this you can just increase or decrease it using the 1d analysis results just for the visual uh, visibility so like this we can check the various options of your analysis in the seismic loads now we have we can have the moment layer moment major moment uh, biaxial shearer forces everything we can check everything we have checked and if we want to do uh, let's say uh, let's say we have we want to do your F finite element analysis and in scene content we'll just go and and after that we'll just select a particular load combination for the finite element analysis and as you can see, this is also the results for your seismic loads. And let's just uh, uh, switch it off and MDX top and MDX bottom, as you can see here. I have just decreased the magnitude a bit. Now you can see the effect of your particular finite element analysis, or that is the moment at the top. You can also see the moment at the bottom, MDX top and mdx bottom both you can find out the magnitude of the forces 
so like this you can just also check the deflections as well so these are the deflections due to the uh, finite element analysis i earlier we had uh, uh, done the first order linear analysis so you can do the first order linear, linear analysis second order and finite element anything you can do so like this we can have we can explore various options of you know finding the particular uh, values or the analysis results of your seismic load like this let's check the axial force as well as you can see here so these are the various values in uh, shear force major shear force minor so this is the way in which we can uh, check our analysis results and we can study we can do research and we can study the effect of the seismic loads on our particular structure so there are more options to explore uh, in tecla structural designer software and if you want to get trained personally from us and we provide professional training on this particular course g plus 3 building design using tecla structural designer with which we complete a total project work building and we cover all the important aspects which are not included in the software also like uh, column positioning and how to decide your sizes for you know a practical structure if you are a professional or if you are a student you can get trained from us already many professionals uh, worldwide have uh, been trained from us and uh, they have given their feedback quite good feedback so if you want you can just register using the link below and we will keep updating more videos and for more such content subscribe to our channel and also keep commenting on which topics you want for the videos so that's all for today bye bye